What's up guys, Jivin back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about what I find to be the most important skill in Fortnite to start performing better. Before we hop into this video, please consider using code Jivin TV in the item shop or at least make sure you're using somebody's code because it helps us content creators out a bunch. Without further ado, let's hop into this video. So the important skill that I'm talking about is mindset and concentration. When I say this, I mean concentrating on the right things at the right times during fights. There's a lot of times where we'll be in a fight and then we get to the point where we're ready to shoot the opponent and we're missing our shots because we're not fully concentrated on taking those shots and truly lining them up. And at other times in fights, there'll be times where we're too hesitant, you know? We see a peace control opportunity, but we don't take it because we're playing defensive in the moment. But the peace control opportunity was there and you could have turned around the fight with it, but your mindset just wasn't on that. It wasn't concentrated on that. If this sounds like you, I'm gonna try to explain ways that you can overcome this. The way I've been trying to train myself to play like this is by building a slow, fast play style. People will come to my stream and say, Jivin, why does your play style look so slow? and fast at the same time. Usually isn't it one or the other? So this is what I try to do. When I start a fight and I'm trying to peace control the opponent, I'm going full speed. When I'm like doing my edit coursing and doing my builds, I try to play fast and flicky. But as soon as I see an opportunity to line up a shot or take a peek shot from behind a wall, I immediately try to slow down my mental game, slow down my mindset and only focus on hitting that shot. It's something that I've been trying to train myself for a while, and it's been helping me out a ton. By playing this playstyle, you'll be able to keep up with some of the fastest mechanical players, while also avoiding having a flicky aim playstyle. Having a flicky aim style can oftentimes lead to inconsistent shots, but if you can train yourself to have this dual mindset playstyle, it can really separate you. But if you choose to take this playstyle, there's another really important thing you need to keep in mind. If you're always going super fast while building and editing and trying to peace control, you'll oftentimes lose track of your opponent. So you also need to incorporate a lot of energy into tracking your opponent. The way I do this while also maintaining that fast and flicky build style is by playing in bursts of energy. This is what I mean. I start out a fight by reading the opponent. For example, if they're boxed up, I'll be outside their wall kind of just feeling out the situation, feeling out how aggressive the player is and trying to read their next move before I attack. Or if I'm in a build fight, I'll be sure that I take time to pause and track their movement. I'll play in bursts of energy in my build fights. Let's say I see an opportunity to either take high ground from them or peace control them, I'll play in a big burst of energy and try to get the high ground as fast as possible or peace control them as fast as possible. But let's say I don't get high ground and I don't get them peace controlled, I'll take another few seconds just to track the opponent, make sure I know exactly where they are, and plan my next strike with a big burst of energy. But it's important to take that time to track your opponent and make sure you know where they are and know what's going on. This can also help you to read your opponent and figure out what their next plan is. That way you can counter it. Now you may be wondering, how can you incorporate this into your gameplay? When it comes down to mentality tips, whether it's real life mentality struggling to get up in the morning and get work done, or mentality in game trying to focus on the right things, play with energy, this is all stuff that you can train yourself to do. Having a good mentality in anything is so important. So if there's a goal you're chasing in life, you just gotta train yourself. How can you get motivated to get that goal? Whether it be right as you wake up in the morning, you focus all your energy on that goal, and that's what gets you excited in the morning. Or you can set up little goals and reward systems that get you excited. And also planning out your day by day, you know, what are you gonna do at this time in the day, this time in the day, that stuff gets you motivated to get stuff done. Now the reason I'm saying all this, you may think it's really disconnected from the video. I'm trying to make the point that you can really train yourself mentally, whether it's in-game or in real life. So let's talk about in-game. How can you train yourself to focus on the right things mentally and play with a lot of energy? The way I've been training myself over the past few months to play like this is certain days I'll focus on certain aspects of my mental game that I want to improve. So there was a solid like week-long period that I really wanted to improve slowing down while taking my shots. So at the start of each game, when I'm on the bus, I make sure to reimburse that idea in my head. I'll be like, you know what? I'm missing way too many shots. I need to slow down when I'm taking these shots. That's my goal this game. I wanna keep that fast play style, but I need to slow down when taking shots. 
and then the same thing applied when I was trying to put more energy into tracking my opponent. And you can use the same training method focusing on one aspect of your game when you're on the battle bus, that way you have it in your head and ready to go during the match. You can do this for when you're trying to learn certain peace control tricks. For example, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I put a lot of energy into learning the Noah Rayleigh phase trick with the ramps, how I just put ramps in people's boxes straight through their walls. The way I learned this was just each time I was on the bus, I was like, okay, I wanna make sure that I do this at least once. And then the next game, you know, I wanna do it again. And then a week later, it was like, I wanna do this anytime I see the opportunity to do this. And now I can do this move all the time and it's just a part of my playstyle. So that's how you train yourself to do certain mental tricks during games. Let's say you're in a cash cup and you really need to make sure that you're staying ahead of zone. Maybe as soon as you box up in that late game, make sure you make that mental note to yourself. Say, I need to stay ahead of zone. But for me, it's just important to focus on one thing at a time for long-term improvement. If you put too many things on your mind, it might get a little overwhelming and you might miss out on some of that stuff. But that can work too, you know, as long as if you're applying new things at the start of the game, trying to get yourself trained to do those things, you'll definitely improve. So far in this video, I have absolutely loaded you with new information that you need to apply to your game. So if you can't remember all this, I definitely recommend going back to the start and maybe grabbing a notebook or something. This will help you with anything in life, I swear. This mental trick, you know, at the start of the day, just tell yourself something new that you want to do or make a to-do list, training yourself to do new things mentally, staying more motivated throughout the day. It's so important and you can get so much more work done and learn so many new things. But one more thing that I need to say is that if you're learning new stuff, you need to be practicing it in creative as well. So let's say that you're trying to work on that mental trick for aiming. You can also practice slowing down your shots in the headshot only Panville Turtle Wars map. Link is in the description. Since that map, you can only kill people with a 200. Practicing slowing down your shots and lining up your shots in that map can help you hit more heavy pumps. Same thing applies with peace control tricks. You might not even know where to begin and you might not have the muscle memory down to do peace control if you haven't already ran Raiders Peace Control maps. Links are in the description. But overall, creative is just the place to build up the fundamentals so that you can apply it to arena. I always tell people who come to my stream asking Jiven, how do I improve? How do I improve on my weak points? Stuff like that. I tell them that creative is the place where you can improve on your weak points. At the start of the day, just make sure you apply maybe 30 minutes to practicing the weakest parts of your game. That way you're training yourself and maybe in a few weeks you'll see that weakness turn into a strength and then you'll just be a better player. So at the start of the day, I just encourage you to work on your weak points in creative for like 30 minutes or so. Aim is going to be my weak point forever, you know. I train my aim every single day just so I can stay on top of that and because of that consistent practice and creative, it has turned into a strength of mine. People will say, how do you hit so many shots? 20 minute warm up every day, working on my aim, does the trick. So if there's any part of your game that you feel like you're lacking on, Google on YouTube, how do you improve on this? What are some practice maps? And I'm sure that I have tons of videos on every weakness you could ever have, you know? Whether it's building, editing, peace controlling, aiming, mentality. Look up a video on that topic, and just work on it for 30 minutes at the start of the day. Anyways guys, points reset next week. I'm gonna be streaming Arena almost every single day. I hope I see some of you there. I'm also gonna have a lot of new content coming out, so stay tuned. Be sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Use code JIVENTV in the item shop, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.